My favorite memory here at Alico is my first year here, Dunk City After Dark, when the announcer called my name in front of the whole crowd, and everybody was cheering, everybody was clapping, not even knowing who I was. It was when we won our first NCAA tournament game against Oklahoma State. It would probably have to be uh, our first game last year um, at a home court, and it was my first time back. Beating Michigan during the NIT. I don't remember what round it was, but it was really loud in here, and all the fans were pumped. We were trying to talk to each other, we couldn't hear each other. It was just a really good experience. My favorite memory of Coach Mesco has to be in practice. Y'all don't get to hear it, but some of his quotes, and he tries to be hilarious. I mean, some of them's funny, but some of them we already heard. So just him, you know, giving us, getting in trouble, but also joking about it so we don't feel like we're fully in trouble, but we are. Probably a sarcasm. He just thinks he's so funny, and sometimes he is. <laughs> <laughs> he will always, like, try to bring us up, you know, crack his jokes, which I think is so funny. Most of the girls don't, but hey, I had showed one of my teammates a picture and he was like, how can he be the next Tupac and I'm Tupac? was <laughs> and we won the tournament championship. Um, he decided to dance for us. Uh, what am I gonna miss the most? I would say the weather. I don't know where I'm going next because I want to play overseas. And I would just say, you know, uh, FGCU is just like a uh, tropical island. So I just miss the environment. Playing college basketball basically and playing with my teammates and the coaches and the fans. Uh, never have fans like this. I've been playing basketball my whole life, so I think that once I'm done, it's gonna be extremely different. You know, I might be able to play sports on my own time now or something, but it won't be in front of a bunch of fans who care about you and support you so much. Definitely the crowd and the interaction after the game. Even when you have a bad game, they're still telling you that you're great, knowing that Coach Mesco is gonna chew you out and film the next day. I have grown as a person and a player. Um, with um, just, you know, listening and intaking. I think I've become a better person. Uh, the coaching staff is real big on that, and they gave me a lot of, you know, good advice for my upcoming life and trying to figure out things. Through my time here, I've learned a lot about patience, coming back from my ACL injuries. Uh, I've learned a lot about time management. Obviously, I've grown as a basketball player. Um, I think I've reached my shooting peak at this point. For starters, I'd like to thank the coaches for giving me the opportunity to come here and then teaching me all about life and basketball in general. Uh, then, of course, my athletic trainers. I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for their really good rehab and programs they gave me to come back. My mom, my family, my teammates, my coaches. God for always putting me uh, in the right path and carrying me in the right direction. Coach Domesco, um, for even giving me the opportunity to be here and be in Fort Myers, Florida. And then my family who support me in everything I do and always encourage me no matter what. I want to thank my family for supporting me. And I like to thank my family at home, you know, always supporting me. And uh, most definitely the fans, because you guys, you know, make it feel like home here. And thank all the coaching staff. My family, the coaching staff, for giving me another opportunity to play D1 basketball. Our lovely fans out here, you guys are perfect. You guys give us a good boost in energy. And I love you guys, and last but not least, God.